Welcome back. Time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is Mission Barbecue. Good morning, Steve Newton. Thanks for coming. Top of the morning, everybody. Ready to go. Now, we thought with 4th of July coming, we had to have you in here because everyone barbecues on the 4th. What's better than barbecue for breakfast? The only thing that might be better is barbecue for brunch. Right. So with Independence Day, you got a lot of folks probably coming over to the house. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to show you today is something you can do at home nice. to share with everybody. And it's pulled pork. This is the biggest slab of pork I think I've ever seen. Wow. So go, go to the store and get yourself a Boston butt mm -hmm. and go ahead and rub it up with your favorite seasoning. I like salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic and maybe some smoked paprika. Is that what that is? That, that's what okay. that is. Then set your oven mm -hmm. to uh, 300 degrees or your smoker for to 250. Um, and then put this thing right in there and, and we're going to go low and slow with right. this now. Right, because that's what makes it so tender, right? Right, and after um, 12 hours on that 250 smoker mm -hmm. or 8 hours in your 300 degree oven, you know, it's going to, the magic of television. Okay, wah, wah, wah. And 12 hours you later. see what he brings out because it smells so good and incredible. 12 hours later. Wow. You got some pulled pork. Oh, now I might, I might, might need your help here on this. Okay, well you want me to hold it? First hold thing, it down? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to find that, mm -hmm. that bone mm -hmm. that's back in here. Okay. And you want to make sure you take that out. bone out. All right. Yeah, because then the rest of it you and just want to. Yep, and look for oh. any bone fragments. You're you're mm -hmm. clean here. You're clear. Yep. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There we oh, go. Wow. And then you're gonna go ahead and start mm -hmm. pulling. Oh, that's amazing. So oh, you see how it just how falls it just apart? Falls right apart. That's incredible. And then you can put this on anything you want to put it on. I like to eat it just like this with mm -hmm. a little, maybe a little bit of sauce. Right. Just have um, it like dipping sauce even, you know. Yeah, any of those homemade sauces that are in the in the restaurant oh, that wow. represent the different areas of the country of barbecue. Oh, or so if I want a mm -hmm. sandwich, I'll make my favorite, yeah, which is a baby. North Carolina mm -hmm. sandwich, pulled pork sandwich. So my neighbor introduced me to this at one of our Fourth of July parties, and that's like putting the coleslaw on top. Oh, it's that's I mean, how they that, do it in the Carolinas. Oh my gosh, that mixture of tastes is insane. Did you I pull mean, that? so good. Oh, look at that, and oh, put yeah. that sandwich on there. You just see the juices. The and juice then, is almost dripping off of it. Do you want maybe a little, a little bit, bit of pixie of dust on there? Yeah, sure, right? The seasoning. Oh man. And then get your. You know, put that right on top. Yeah. Oh wow. The slaw and the mayonnaise and the slaw. Do you sell a lot of these? This is one of our most yeah. popular sandwiches. Oh my gosh, I bet it is. Wow. Right here, and then put just a little bit of vinegar or your favorite mm -hmm. sauce on just there. A little anything you want to yeah, do. Put that okay, vinegar just up. Just put a tiny little bit. Yep. Just okay. Put a little just a bit tiny in little. There. Okay. You're just gonna pour it just right over it. Just just about that much or a little more. Perfect. A little okay. A little, little, little bit more. Okay. Just a little bit. It's more. got the red pepper, garlic, oh, vinegar yeah, in there. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right, Taylor, come on in here. You can crush that. You can crush that, Taylor. She's ready to a go. little bit of it, maybe. It smells but, so um, good. I think everyone working right now, we're talking about it. <laughs> just dying. They're just dying. They stopped doing what they were doing and just drooling. I'm sorry. This part is calling my name right here. So as I'm going to chomp on this, talk about some of the other dishes you have here. So uh, it's barbecue season here. Mm -hmm. It's summer, so we've got our full rack of baby back ribs. Mm -hmm. Turkey and jalapeno yeah. sausage. That's a two-meat sampler. So you can come in the what? restaurant and sample all Go back all to what that proteins. is. Turkey and jalapeno meat sausage? That's turkey and our mm -hmm. jalapeno and cheese sausage, Whoa. which is made special for us right out of Texas. That and looks then, really good. It does look good. Of course, our Texas-inspired beef brisket. Oh, That's man. smoked low and slow for 14 to 16 hours. Talk about the Mission to Mission Barbecue because you guys have a big one. The Mission to Mission Barbecue is to serve. It's to honor and recognize those men and women that have raised their right hand and sworn to protect, serve, and save in both our community and our country. And to serve for us is to give back. And one of the ways we do that is we have our American Hero Cups. For $3.99, $2 from each of those cups goes back to the local heroes. Maybe it's the local police officers and firefighters yeah. or uh, a national charity like the USO, the Navy SEAL Foundation, Semper Fi Fund, or um, during the holidays, wreaths across America where a wreath gets laid on the tombstone of every veteran. Patriotism, very important to Mission Barbecue. It's, uh, our mission is to serve. That's fantastic. What are you going to make for us in the next hour? Well, we're, we're going to do some ribs for you. <laughs> so we've got a slab of ribs. We're going to show you how to how to season it up and cook it on the on the smoker or e even in, in your oven if you have to. So. Oh. Wow. It's not going to rain this weekend. Though. It's not going to, no, no, we're not no, going to no, deal no. with that. <laughs> not at all. And we're, we're just enjoying we're your pork that you have that. here. But also you have some teas too. 
Yeah, we have sweet tea, kettle mm -hmm. brewed sweet tea, unsweet tea, and also some summertime lemonade. So for those folks that love doing their Arnold Palmers, we can <laughs> do them up. <laughs> That's great. They love it. And of course, your sides, you got your coleslaw, you've got your macaroni and cheese, your cornbread. What else do you guys have? Well, that's Maggie's mac and cheese, and Ooh. it's named after our founder's daughter. Our founder's daughter took over a year to finally approve the, the recipe. I love it. She has very distinct tastes, you know? And so we call it Maggie's mac and cheese, so we hope, Maggie, that this is going to be good enough for you. <laughs>